Raised outside of Chicago, Dustin the Cow Header worked hard to make his way into film and documentary work. Shooting for the stars, he's worked with some of the biggest names from Dwayne Wade to Jay-Z to Chance the Rapper. And now, one of his films, Shot in the Dark, has aired on national television. Dustin joins us now on Night Talks. Good evening, Dustin. How's it going? It's going good. So everyone has a story to tell. How do you decide which ones are told? To determine what stories to tell, I mean, for me, like, I love basketball. Like, okay. I love all parts of the game. I watch it. I play it above average. That may be a stretch. <laughs> okay, I'm sure um, you can play. <laughs> yeah, I like to play it. I like to watch it. I like to talk about it. I like to think about it. And that passion I've had for basketball has existed since I was a kid. You know, I grew up in Chicago while Michael Jordan was, like, being Michael Jordan. A legend, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that was like an easy entry point for me as a kid. And then I'm also passionate about the city that I'm from, um, you know, the, the complications and the challenges the city faces, but also what I find to be all the inherent beauty in it that I think a lot of people overlook. Um, but yeah, my thought process and sort of making something and deciding this was the story I wanted to tell, it's like, I felt like if I could translate my obsession with basketball, which is like endless, if I could translate that into like a 90 minute movie and yeah. then have someone that doesn't really care about basketball sit down and watch it, then I've done my job, you right. know, and they can just feel a bit of what I care about for at least, you know, a seat on the couch while I deal with my obsession for the rest of my life. Um, but I do think it's important to like figure out the thing that you care about, figure out the thing that you're passionate about, because that's what will guide you, you know, you don't know where the road will take you but at least if you have the kind of guiding light of that internal passion it'll take you all sorts of places um you know i never expected when we started to make the movie that we'd have people like Dwayne wade or chance the rapper attached to it right. it was never yeah. never in my wildest dreams that that could have happened um but i do think it's something when you've dedicated yourself to something as simple of a passion as basketball or the city of chicago where it can take you so um, I think that applies across the board to anything that anyone could care about. Cool. So you're following your passion. How do you abandon any preconceived notions you might have about the individuals whose story you're telling to tell like an unfiltered story? That's a, also a really great question. I mean, for me, it's always a matter of like taking a humanist perspective okay. in the filmmaking, yeah. by which I mean it's like really easy uh, especially when you have a camera to like look down on someone pedantically uh, right. and think that you know everything about them or the alternative side that you see in a lot of sort of more yeah I won't name names but other types of filmmaking is yeah. you look up at them and you sensationalize it and you right. make it something it isn't but then I think the reality is is that like everybody has a mom everybody's got dreams everyone's got hopes and fears and anxieties yeah. and concerns and if you can look at someone on that level at the eye level you know not above or not below but really honestly at eye level uh you can connect i think with anyone you know across any kind of cultural language uh anything it it applies um what was the question no you covered it okay, you got cool. it yeah down Sick. to the human truth yes yeah. yes uh yeah the hu just trying to find the common humanity be right. between people um because yeah. that's where anyone can connect uh my circumstances growing up were super different than the kids that i filmed that with shot in the dark but at the same time we both had hopes we both had dreams exactly. we both had fears yeah. uh and that's a way to build a connection with anyone with or without a camera. Right.